I'll tell you my secret trick that I'm pretty sure some of you already know about, but for those of you who don't, I have five tips on how to increase your views on your old videos. And as a bonus tip, I'll show you where to find topics to create new videos from. And we're starting right this minute. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Pinai Mom's Blogs. For today's episode, I will share with you something that I've been doing for quite some time now. Um, that increases my channel's watch hours, but even better, it increases the views on my old videos, even after they've been published like months ago or even years ago. So I have these five tips to share with you today, uh, and it actually worked for me. And also at the end of this video, I will give you a bonus tip for, so I will show you how to get ideas for your next vlog that hopefully increases your chance of being seen and get more views. So abangan po ninyo yan at the end of this video and I hope you stick around for that. All right, so let's get these five tips, shall we? Number one, create an evergreen video. What is an evergreen video? It's actually a video content for that's applicable for a long time. It appeals to your viewers and it does not have an expiration date. So in a way, it can be watched months from now or years from now and it's still good informative content. It's still entertaining. So papanoorin pa rin po siya kahit matagal na siyang na-publish. So for example, cooking videos, unboxing videos, visits to museums or theme parks. So these are examples of topics that will be relevant for a long period of time, just like for an evergreen plant or an even evergreen tree, they say it's always fresh, it's always long lasting. So if you make these kinds of videos, weeks after or months after, uh, you if you promote these videos, it will still look fresh to the new viewer who watches it. Now a disclaimer, I'm still a small YouTuber, po. I'm nowhere near a successful or a popular channel. I just love this because it's a hobby of mine. Uh, I love content creation and I really like sharing information. But I'm not saying that if you follow these tips, you will get views right away. These strategies have been working so, so far for me, considering the small amount of time that I spend on YouTube because of course I also have my family and I also have work on the side. Now you might also say, Ang baba naman ng mga views ng recent videos ni Pinay Mom's blog. So, how can she even give out these tips? Well, if you ask any YouTube gurus, like for example, the ones I follow, like Nick Nimmin, or Sean uh, from Think Media, or Nate at Channel Makers, or even Catherine Manning, uh, the one who used to do um, content bug. For them, po, the number of views does not really matter as much as watch ours. And that's where my channel has been consistent in, and for some reason, it's thriving on. Which can only mean that my old videos are still being watched. And to prove this to you, here's my channel analytics at the time that I'm making this video. You see here the views, and here is the watch time in hours in the last 28 days. And if you look at this poll, my watch time have been pretty much consistent on this line graph. Even at the time that I wasn't religiously posting videos at some point last year. And then if you change it to uh, 90 days or three months, the watch hours is still pretty much consistent. And even for 365 days, it pretty much had the same. It's not very high, but the watch time has been consistent throughout and it produces revenue po, kahit na konti konti lang. So try to create good content that will give you the watch time to produce the revenue. Number two, promote your old videos by adding it to new content with similar themes or similar subject matter. So let me show you for example. And if you happen to miss the first two where I discussed um, uh, primarily about how to start your own YouTube channel and also how to understand your YouTube analytics, then feel free to click on this pop-up right there at the top of your screen or on the description box below. We're gonna enjoy some delicious food. I have prepared a playlist up here on the top of your screen so you can um, also enjoy some fun places here in the Netherlands. So please check them out right now. And also, I happen to have another video, uh, our top 10 favorite Dutch snacks here in Holland, here in the Netherlands. I will add a link of that here um, on the top of your screen. So this means, Paul, like when you're presenting a topic on your current video, invite your viewers to watch similar topics uh, that you've made before or a related topic that might interest them by telling them to click on the top of their screens or link 
on the description box below. And make sure po that you do update your description box when you edit, because sometimes po you might forget to write it down, then you'll miss the chance. So these YouTube cards, that's what we call them, those are uh, what your viewers will click on to bring them to another old video of yours. And um, on your YouTube, you can place it, I think, a maximum of five different types of cards throughout the entire video. So just strategize. Uh, but so far, I think I've only used three. Number three, while we're still talking about cards and st strategy, uh, tip number three is place those cards on your old videos where your viewers are still interested boy, in watching. So meaning, ideally, invite them to watch your old videos while you're still talking about a current one. Uh, like, for example, you're saying, um, oh, by the way, if you like this museum here in Amsterdam, there's another museum in Leiden you might be interested in by clicking this link on the top of your screen. Or you can also say, if you like this bag from brand A, check out my unboxing of brand B by clicking on the description box below. Or you can also say, if you like this recipe, then please check out the playlist that I prepared for you on the top of your screen for similar recipes. So you get the point, right? So long as the idea is don't wait until the end of your film or of the video, um, better yet, lead them to the link before you even say your thank yous or your goodbyes, because otherwise by the time you say, well, that's it for today, thank you for watching, or thank you so much for watching, then your viewers might have already left without even seeing these links. So strategically place your cards on your current video to keep your viewers engaged. Now, don't forget, but at the end of this video, I will show you where to get ideas for your new videos that might help you rank on YouTube. So please stick around until the end of this film. Number four, use your community tabs. Your community tab is a great way for you to promote old videos, especially if it's seasonal. So for example, it's Christmas time, then you can post your old Christmas videos, or just recently, it's Valentine's. Um, so you could post any Valentine related, Valentine's related old videos. Any major holiday that you have an old video of, you can post and revive that video because your community tab is not just an interaction tab. This community tab is not only for interaction with your viewers to get polls or to show some updated images, but you could also promote your old videos there. So make use of them. Number five, last but not the least, Create a playlist of your videos. And I'm sorry, Paul, I'm not talking about the two hour playlist or four hour playlist, if you know what I mean. Nope, I'm not talking about that one, Paul. What I'm talking about is to create a playlist of videos with similar topics or similar themes that might interest your viewers to watch some more with just one click. So especially, Paul, for viewers who watch YouTube on a big screen, like their television screens at home. We sometimes watch YouTube on our TV screens here, especially if the kids are watching with us. So we do use our big screens. So in that way, even if one of those videos on your playlist is the least interesting one, and naka on naman po yung TV, so they can do a bathroom break or grab something to eat, and that video is still running and getting you views. So create a playlist by going through your old videos right now. Well. Not actually right now, but after this film. But let me show you how you can do that. All right, so how you do that is by clicking here. Um, but of course, ahead of time, you have to uh, create a, the names of your playlists. And then you choose the one that is appropriate for your video, and that's it. And now for my bonus tip, um, I'm gonna show you where to get uh, new ideas for your next vlog to have a better chance of ranking and getting traffic to your new video. All right, I'll show it to you with my mobile phone because we use our phones anyway. Um, now we'll go to analytics and here you'll see an overview. And from the overview, we will see what's your top videos and what's being viewed in real time. Um, but you can also see here your watch time in hours, your number of subscribers, and um, yeah, your revenue, your revenue. But the tab that we'll go to is the reach. Here you'll see your impressions under your reach tab, but on the bottom of the panel, you'll see the traffic source type, top external sources, and top YouTube search terms. So remember these four. Uh, these are very important. You also have top videos suggesting your content. So what you're going to do is you click on top YouTube search terms. These terms or phrases for are words that your viewers would type in on the search box and YouTube brings them to your video. 
So for example, for you see here, I have a lot of Kindle, I have a lot of Kobo because that's what I recently posted for when I'm doing this video, but also a lot of recipes. I see a lot of trips and other locations. So on your own channel, Paul, what you can do is you can look at um, your top YouTube search terms and then you may find uh, what your viewers uh, are typing in that leads you to or leads them to your videos. And then you can maybe find a word or phrase that you might be interested yourself to create a new video of uh, that maybe you have not done yet or maybe you could do a follow up video and make a new one. So also another suggestion would be to go to the tab of top video suggesting your content. So what are these for? This is a list of other channels videos um, and their videos suggest your videos on the side panel of their screen uh, when you watch them for so look through their titles uh, look through the titles see if you can also create a similar content just don't copy them for be unique um, so yeah my point is just make use of these YouTube analytics because there's so much information for that could help you create good content for your next video and then once you've gotten your topic in mind go on up with your magandang content and remember to keep three things in mind when you're creating your videos uh, using YouTube analytics. It has something to do with your thumbnail, the title of your video, and the content. I've discussed this point in great detail on a video called Know Your YouTube Analytics. So you can go ahead and click here. There's a link on the top of your screen if you haven't watched it yet. So there you have it, Paul. Thank you so much for watching. If you think that this video really helped you a lot, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you again next time on my next vlogging tip. Please check out the list as well of our vlogging tutorials. There's a link on the description box below. And yes, until next time, thank you so much again for watching and stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more episodes of Pinay Mom's vlogs, please click on any of the links up ahead or you can subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified of our new posts every time. Thanks for watching.